U.S. underlying consumer prices picked up in January, while the number of Americans filing claims for unemployment benefits rose slightly last week, suggesting the economy was stable enough for the Federal Reserve to keep interest rates on hold this year. Structure, structure note for you, all right? You want to try to make sure that you have your editorial a little bit sooner. Okay. Um, well, uh, this is uh, Mesa County Central, a typical night in uh, forensics. We have about 12, 13 rooms in the school that we use every, every night uh, from January 6th, right around there, till the first weekend in May. We're very, very active. I've got about 30, I have 34 students on the team right now. We run anywhere from 30 to 35 students the last few years. Uh, forensics has been around for 32 years now at Mace County Central. We are very competitive. We travel all across the state in competitions. I always tell people it's like a track team. Half the categories are acting, half the categories are public address. And uh, we compete against class A, B, C, D schools and uh, at individual tournaments. They can score tr points for themselves and trophies for themselves, and they score points for us overall as a team. And uh, they're de but depends on how many students you enter into a competition. And uh, we are always a large school, so we're one of the largest schools in Michigan. Um, we're one of the largest Class C schools in Michigan as well. And we compete uh, you know, weekly uh, on Saturdays for about nine weeks in a row. And uh, this year I have uh, Mr. Nate Peterson help me and Scott Sturgill, former students of mine. Um, I've been doing this for 30 years now, and uh, I've been thinking to do it several more. So uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. The kids uh, come in, they work diligently on it. They, they work uh, with each other, and the older ones help bring up the newer ones. And they, uh, they keep refining, keep refining their piece, keep refining their speeches. They do extemporaneous speeches, uh, impromptu speeches. Uh, they do public address uh, in all different kinds of public address and then all different kinds of acting. So um, my, uh, my training is in uh, theater education and communications education, and so I support them and, and help them in all those areas. So it's a perfect fit for me as well. So. I joined forensics because last year pretty much all of my friends were doing forensics and they thought that I would be really good at it. So I talked to Mr. Richard and he convinced me to do it and set me up with the category that I'm in today. I do broadcasting, so basically what happens is a half an hour before I'm supposed to perform, they will give me a packet full of news articles and out of all of those news articles they will pick one, put a box around it that I have to read and then write a one page paper on my opinion of it and um, if it's a problem how I would think to s solve it. I've been on the team for four years now and my category is sales. So what I do is I give an eight minute speech, a sales pitch, or um, not so much like a TV commercial, but a legitimate business sales pitch, and I sell Crocs shoes. <laughs> um, pretty much you could pick any product in the whole world, any brand in the whole world, and they say, all right, how well can I sell them? In the book, Girl Stolen by April Henry, Cheyenne Wilder is accidentally kidnapped. Griffin brings her back to his house to figure out what to do next. But the real question is, is Griffin the real monster of the story?
we have a great time and this year we're looking to be uh, return uh, to the state championship and uh, my goal is always the state uh, finalists and be the top in the state. We've won it once and uh, we should do it again uh, because these kids are just as good as any kids across the state and we're really proud of them and we're, we're quite well known for all the work uh, that we accomplish around the state of Michigan. So that's, 